In this module, uh, we will see that what is the difference between professional and voluntary social work. Professional social workers are those who help people in their needs as a part of their job and they're well trained, they're well equipped with the professional body of knowledge of social work discipline. Uh, whereas the voluntary social workers are those who work for welfare of other people without uh, any pay, without any salary or any reward as are not qualified or trained and uh, within uh, a specific institution of social work or social welfare. Uh, if we see the term of voluntarism, it is a German word which means and which is uh, literally uh, translated as uh, honorary post. A word that describes, uh, that describes uh, per, uh, precisely the fact that voluntarism is a value, basically is a value which is inculcated among the community people uh, as uh, a moral value, as the obligation on the part of the community people to help one another. Uh, voluntarism is an important part of the civil society and allows us to fulfill the needs which would not be addressed otherwise. Uh, in many cases, the beneficiaries of volunteer work are the most vulnerable groups within our society, such as uh, the poor, the sick, the elderly, uh, or the other suffering humanity. Uh, normally, the volunteerism is... Uh, conducted uh, in among the uh, time of the uh, disaster like flood like earthquake and uh, uh, for to meet the immediate need of the community uh, the link uh, this links up a basic motivation for volunteerism uh, with the most important principle of humanitarian assistance which is humanity and humanitarian welfare uh, conviction uh, which should be imparted on the people of the community. The, volunteers, uh, the volunteer people receives the public appreciation for what he or she is uh, doing, uh, the public encouragement, the public appreciation, and this enhances uh, his or her personal satisfaction too and may lead to self-confidence and self-improvement um, as well. They generally do not expect any reward payment for the charity uh, given or uh, the services uh, they are rendering for the welfare of uh, the people. It is uh, devotion and dedication on their part to serve the entire mankind. Uh, we have seen that uh, many uh, people who have uh, devoted themselves uh, 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 on voluntarily basis for the um, welfare of the mankind. We can take the name of Abdul Sataridi, we can take the name of Mother Teresa and uh, many other people uh, who have uh, rendered the welfare services uh, for their own satisfaction and uh, uh, due to their own devotion and dedication. Uh, for Muslims, uh, this may come out of their desire to go to heaven after death, this kind of uh, the source of inspiration or insight they have uh, they have developed in their own personalities and uh, uh, this may come out of uh, their desire to go to heaven after that it or uh, it uh, may be due to their faith in rebirth and uh, desire in attaining salvation through charity and uh, that involves people in uh, voluntary action so there can be a lot of motives and inspirations behind um, the voluntary work. Voluntary work uh, could be extended to individual, but when it addresses the need of the community it, uh, at large, it is referred to as the voluntary social work. Whereas professional social work implies all those activities which are done for profit and for salary, for some monetary reward, uh, but using the professional skills and uh, the core competences of the social work discipline, social work profession.
professional and voluntary social uh, uh, voluntary social work are different according to their target groups according uh, to their uh, Uh, service delivery mechanism according to their procedures uh like the professional and voluntary workers are both driven by the incessant urge to contribute positively to the society no doubt and uh, both the spheres of influence uh, encompass uh, the humanity at large and uh, both forms of social work include uh, doing uh, some sort of work that benefits the society it could be anything from taking care of uh, the elderly uh, in old homes and uh, to work next to underprivileged school children and their families uh, professional social work is uh, done by those who do it uh, for uh, their earning for uh, their living and usually follows the same 8 hour work per day or 40 hours uh, per week uh, like uh, other professionals in other fields of work and professional social workers are required to be trained and qualified for the work they do uh, they need special training they need uh, to uh, to uh, learn the professional body of knowledge to attend the proper classes to be qualified to be trained and to learn all the techniques approaches and uh, uh, the ethics and the principles of uh, uh, the social work profession if they want to do work as the professional social workers uh, and it is the same uh, a teaching pedagogy which is uh, adopted Uh, uh to train the professional social workers as uh, the other professions are like uh, teaching like uh, um uh, medicine and uh, the engineering profession uh professional social workers are uh, paid as i have earlier said just like uh, the regular working people uh who get the salary after the month and uh, for the job for the work they are uh, doing in the field but voluntary social workers on the other hand usually work on unpaid basis and they do similar work the welfare of the community and as a whole the work benefit uh, 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 they benefit the society their work benefit the society but they don't normally treat the work as a 9 to 5 undertaking 